I'm Liz Moser, a Mayo Clinic and National Board Certified Health and Wellness Coach. How often do you hear a friend or family member say that they really need to make a good night's sleep a priority? Not very often, right? I haven't yet had a client hire me because they want to improve their sleep habits, even though sleep is an integral part of our overall health. According to the Mayo Clinic, adults require between seven and nine hours of sleep each night. Although the average adult sleeps way less than that, clocking in between five and a half and six and a half hours of sleep per night. And unfortunately, it's not time in bed that counts, it's the actual sleep time. Are you thinking, oh no, I'm so busy and now I have to spend more time in bed? Well, maybe you do, maybe you don't, stay tuned. Most fitness trackers record actual sleep. And as I was researching um, this blog this week, I started to chart my exact sleep time and I was a bit dismayed. I go to bed at 9.30 p.m. and wake up at 5 a.m. every day like clockwork. So I'm in bed seven and a half hours total every night. Sadly though, I realized I only get six to six and a half total hours of sleep. So yes, Liz Moser, healthy habits coach, is just an average sleeper. Wah, wah. <laughs> I feel like I have excellent energy levels. I feel rested and healthy, but could my energy improve? According to the experts, yes, it could. There are two ways to increase your actual sleep time. Either A, spend more time in bed, which is not my first choice, seeing as I've had a steady 9.30 bedtime and 5 a.m. wake routine for several years, and I'm not ready to make a change. Or B, explore techniques that will facilitate falling asleep faster. So, so that's what I've been focusing on this past week. The one specific technique I've been practicing is the military method. It promises to be so effective, a practitioner can potentially fall asleep in 10 short seconds. That's right, 10 seconds, no joke. The Air Force created this technique to help their fighter pilots fall asleep even after drinking coffee or with gunfire going on in the background. Therefore, if you have to contend with snoring, sirens, or noisy neighbors, this should work for you. It takes the average person six weeks to learn this method, and supposedly it's effective for 96% of people who consistently practice it. Like all new habits, be patient, and, and perhaps you will be falling asleep in 10 seconds after only a few short weeks of training. Okay, so here we go. Step one, relax your entire face, including the forehead, eyes, jaw, mouth, and particularly relax your tongue. I am amazed at how much tension I hold in my jaw and tongue. Step two, relax the shoulders. Feel like they are sagging down towards your feet like melting wax. Step three, inhale, exhale, and relax your chest muscles and all your internal organs. Step four, then relax your thighs, calves, and feet. Step five, clear your mind. And for 10 inhales and exhales, imagine you are drifting in a canoe, looking up at the blue sky and clouds, or you are lying in a black velvet hammock in a dark room, slowly swaying back and forth. If visualization doesn't work for you, silently repeat don't on the inhale and think on the exhale. Our thoughts cause muscle tension. Therefore, the goal is to let go of thinking, which relaxes the muscles. 96% of the fighter pilots were able to fall asleep within 10 seconds after six weeks of practice. No kidding. I've been practicing this for one week and haven't quite mastered it entirely, although I'm astounded at how much tension I hold in my tongue, jaw, and shoulders. My discovery this week is that those three areas seem to hold much of my body tension. Okay, another method to fall asleep quickly is four, seven, eight breathing. So here we go with that. Step one, prepare for the practice by resting the tip of your tongue against the roof of your mouth right behind your top front teeth. You'll need to keep your tongue in place throughout the practice. Step two, let the lips part slightly and make a whooshing noise as you exhale through your mouth. Step three, close your mouth and inhale for a count of four. Step four, then hold your breath for a count of seven. And lastly, step five, keeping the tip of your tongue against the roof of your mouth right behind your top front teeth. Exhale with a whooshing sound for a count of eight. Try to practice this calmly and mindlessly while letting go of tension. Do this for four cycles and let yourself drift 
drift off to sleep at any time. And the last method to fall asleep quickly is PMR. PMR stands for progressive muscle relaxation, also known as deep muscle relaxation. And this method should help you relax and drift off to sleep. The, the idea is to tense but not strain each muscle and then relax it completely. You might want to start with several rounds of four, seven, eight breathing first. And then step one, raise your eyebrows to tighten your forehead and then drop and relax. Breathe in and out 10 times. Step two, then smile widely to tense your face muscles. Hold for five seconds and then relax and pause for 10 inhales and exhales. Step three, squint your eyes shut holding for five seconds and then relax and breathe in and out 10 times. Step four, tilt your head way back so you are uncomfortably facing the ceiling. Hold for five seconds and then relax, sinking into the pillow. And again, breathe in and out 10 times. Step five, keep moving down your body from your chest, arms, hands, thighs, calves, and feet. Step six, as you are doing this, focus on how heavy your body feels and let yourself drift off to sleep at any time. So in sum, to achieve the ideal seven to nine hours of actual sleep a night, we must either spend more time in bed or try and fall asleep faster, thereby eliminating our tossing and turning time. The three techniques I discussed were the military method, four, seven, eight breathing, and PMR or progressive muscle relaxation. I've been practicing the military method for over a week and it hasn't quite kicked in yet other than I discovered how much tension I hold in my jaw, tongue, and shoulders. However, right, it takes an average of six weeks, so I'm not giving up just yet, and I'm excited to see if I will eventually be able to fall asleep within 10 short seconds. I'm Liz Moser, a Mayo Clinic and National Board Certified Health and Wellness Coach, and thank you for watching this video about how much actual sleep we need and three techniques to fall asleep easily. If you have any questions about this video, about health and wellness, or wellness coaching with me, please reach out via my website at lizmosercoaching.com. Bye for now and be well.